right, so this is a cool one for all you Mopar fans out there. Uh, my good buddy Chris brought in this really cool hood prop for his show car. Basically had it uh, CNC machined with the Super B logo, 392, and then the, uh, the Mopar emblem at the bottom. So what we had to do is we had to primer seal it. And what the primer sealer does is it basically makes sure that in the future, the, the part itself isn't gonna rust. So right now, as you can see, we're priming it. Um, you want to use a primer sealer versus just a regular primer. The difference is a regular primer is always going to be absorbent. A primer sealer actually has clear coat in it. So essentially what you're doing is you're sealing everything on the inside from the elements. Um, I got Jeremy to basically sand it all down. After it was sanded, we did uh, base coat paint. For the backing plate, uh, we did base coat black. For the, uh, the Super B and the, the Mopar emblem at the bottom, uh, we did base coat white. Once it was uh, painted white, we clear coated everything. Now that it's all cleared, um, I got Jeremy to basically sand it down so that the new paint will stick to it. Um, basically what I had to do is start off by taping off all of the, the white areas that I wanted to stay white. So right now I'm masking off the white. Uh, it's gonna stay white underneath it. I'm gonna do the black outline and the yellow accents. And then uh, after that's done, I'm gonna pull the tape off, do some airbrushing, and do some highlights on the helmet, um, highlights on the tires. This will be done, and then this here, I'm gonna do two different colors. So this is actually gonna be uh, Mango Tango Orange, and then this is gonna be Mopar Blue. Now that that's done, I'm going to basically do airbrushing on the black areas and on the uh, yellow as well. One thing I tried to do with the kind of back part is make it look like, you know, the back of a bee, I guess, which has lots of uh, little hairs. So what I used was a, a yellow marker, went all the way around it. Um, what did I do after that? So now that we have all the yellow done, um, basically take off all the masking tape and then what you have to do is you have to do the reverse. So now that I'm going to be painting the white, I have to tape off everything that's not white. Basically right now what I'm just doing is just cleaning up the lines a little bit. Um, stuff like this when it's CNC'd, the lines aren't quite perfect. So like for instance for here, you know, you can see where the, the water jet stopped. And it's kind of like an uneven line there. These markers are awesome, by the way. Um, black especially, because it's a perfect match. So I don't actually have to go back and airbrush it. I can just touch them up. When you clear them, you'll never see it. Uh, can you pass me that princess cup there? Uh, what, hold on, what do you want me to pass you? Can you pass me my, uh, my princess uh, paper cups, please? Yeah. Just grab them here for you. Thank you very much. You These are uh, special edition, by the way. So, you know. Keep it, uh, we like to keep it classy here at Sketches Inc, so, yeah. So once we do the touch-ups with the black marker on the tops, now I have to go back and paint the edges of all the black. Um, when you're taping it, because it's three-dimensional, you have to go back and do kind of like the inside edges. And this is why it takes so long. Now I get to do some airbrushing on the white part itself. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give the goggles like a 3D effect. 
So in order for it to look 3D, you have to give it different dimensions. So the first part I did was the side of the, the goggle itself. Now I'm gonna back tape that off, do the other top, and basically what it'll look like is it's two separate angles. Give it like a three-dimensional look. When you're doing like 3D effects or trying to make something look more than flat, um, you have to figure out basically pick a light source. And uh, so like for the bottom one, I'm doing airbrushing on the bottom. So shading on the bottom and then on the top one, I'm doing shading on the bottom as well. So it basically looks like the light's coming down this way. All right, so now that I have all the airbrushing done on the, the white, I got my, my low lights, highlights, 3D kind of airbrushing on it. I took all the tape off and there was just something about it that just didn't quite look right. It didn't seem finished to me. Um, so what I did after was um, I took my, my white paintbrush and uh, I basically just added kind of like some accents on the top, give it a little bit more of like a, a highlights, a little cartoony feel, which is kind of what the bee looks like. Yeah, so now I'm ready to move on to the Mopar. So with the 392, I kind of went a little outside of my comfort zone on this one. It's something I've never tried before. A lot of people, when they try and make something look 3D, they'll just kind of airbrush kind of like shadows around it and try and make it look bubble-like, but I wanted to go the next step further. I took the, the shape of the 392 and I basically split it up to make it look like Hey man, how's it going? Good morning. Yeah, yeah, come on in. Oh yeah, no, come in. <laughs> so what I had to do um, to make the, the 45 degree angles is I basically had to separate every number into three parts. If you're not sure what I mean, watch this and you'll understand. So the first part for the three is actually um, a triangle at the ends and then basically split the round shape in half. single section you have to tape off separately and airbrush separately so you can get an idea of how long this would actually take. When you're doing stuff like this you have to basically figure out where your light source is coming from and airbrush accordingly. <laughs> so I'm really really happy with how the 392 turned out. Like I said it was definitely something I'd never tried before. I'm probably gonna get requests for it now which is cool. Send me some more stuff. Mopar, pretty simple. Mopar blue. Basically what I had to do is tape off the 392, which I already painted, so you don't get any paint on that. Sprayed it blue, did a little bit of a touch up on the, on the bottoms of the lettering, and uh, now we're ready for clear coat. Clear coat, pretty self-explanatory. You guys have seen that hundreds of times by now. Not hundreds of times, a couple of times by now. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for us, there was um, screw holes on the backside. Basically just hook up your wiring, hang it up. With these kind of parts, they were actually really, really light. So when I was spraying it, the air pressure actually moved them around a lot. In the video, I'm sure you'll see me struggling. That's why. So now that the clear coat's all done, assembly, pretty easy. Three bolts on, on the bottom, five on the top, and uh, yeah, it's ready for the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love our videos and you wanna see more, please click the red uh, button and subscribe. You'll never miss an episode and you'll get to see my pretty face all the time. <laughs>